Good morning, Pirates. Get ready for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of reflection. You may be seated. I'm finding ways to articulate the feeling I'm going through. I just can't say I don't love you. Cause I love you. It's hard for me to communicate the thoughts that I hold But tonight I'm gonna let you know Let me tell the truth Baby, let me tell the truth Yeah You know what I'm thinking See it in your eyes You hate that you want me Hate it when you cry You're scared to be lonely Especially in the night I'm scared that I'll miss you Happens every time I don't want this feeling I can't afford love I try to find reason To pull us apart It ain't working Cause you're perfect And I know that you're worth it I can't walk away Life as a travel nurse can be challenging. I'm away from my family, I'm away from my dog, I'm basically away from everything that I call home. 
I'm way outside of my comfort zone, usually in different cities, different states. You always have to be flexible, adjustable, and just kind of willing to learn right then and there. And if you don't know, I try to ask questions. My name is Aspen Tucker. I'm 29 years old. I make $187,000 a year, and I live in Spontburg, South Carolina. I'm a registered nurse who has transitioned into a travel nurse. So I've been doing this about three years now. And I was working at a staff job uh, local in Spontburg, South Carolina. My mom and stepdad were travel nurses, so I knew it was something I could do. But my mom started traveling back in 2006, and I remember like she was making like $3,000 a week at the time, and like it blew my mind. My mom always was always in my ear, was like, Aspen, you should pursue nursing, you should do travel nursing. Like, you like to travel, and then you can see different places and still be a nurse and still help people. So I knew then and there, I was like, when my opportunity comes, I have to jump on this opportunity. I cannot wait on it. The time that I became a travel nurse was almost like the golden age because the money was really high at that time. Of course, it was smack dab in the, in the mid of COVID, so you needed nurses everywhere. The demand was high. It hasn't slowed down any. The money has dropped some in some aspects when it comes to assignments, but it's never going to be a dry spell. Since I only try to work eight or nine months out of the year, I try to work as much as possible. So usually I work a lot of overtime. So normally I'm doing between 48 hours and 60 hours throughout a work week. Essentially pays more to work more. So of course I try to work more. What does help a lot of times is that I have a huge support system. People that can look after my house, look after my cars, look after my dog. Another big help is that I have a supportive girlfriend who's also a travel nurse, so sometimes we can take travel contracts together, sometimes we can take them separate, but it just depends because she understands the lifestyle just as much what comes with working all the time and not being in a familiar environment. I have four credit cards currently. I have a Discover card, I have a Bank of America card, I have a Truist credit card as well as a Capital One card. The biggest thing that I usually put on my credit cards is the rental car. And I usually use the Truist credit card because I can transfer that from my check-in and pay it off interchangeably with that. I've always been taught to any expense that I accrue on those to always pay it off. Even if it's a $13 or $23, $30 balance, I pay it off then just to kind of try to stay away from the interest with those credit cards. I like to try to have a good balance. I like to try to live for the now. I'm gonna eat at nice restaurants, enjoy a good, decent quality of life, and I'm gonna travel a lot, but also to investing in real estate. The reason I have three cars is each one serves a purpose. And then my Ford Mustang is just a more pleasure. It's convertible. Sometimes when I'm home, I let the top down and unwind a little bit and relax and enjoy it. Travel nursing can be rough navigating health insurance. As soon as your contract ends, you have like a grace period of maybe a week or two for your health insurance to end. So I try to think smart and I try to get everything done while I'm under that contract. Just an example of that recently, I had my wisdom teeth pulled. They were hurting, 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 but I didn't want to do it when I didn't have a contract. I was brought up on the ideology that debt is a part of society no matter what. And I believe in good debt versus bad debt. Education for me was a good debt. Having $50,000 in student loans is a lot, but it was necessity to, to be a registered nurse.
I was able to go straight into ownership just because of living at home and my mom is still in that principle, save your money until you can buy a home. What made buying real estate in Spartanburg attractive is just the low cost, as well as that if something breaks down, if something happens here, I have family here that can help. I bought this place $93,000 and I put down around $4,000. So I still had about $6,000 I believe left after that. I had saved $10,000 so I had money left to kind of furnish the place, little things like that. I have two free bedrooms here that I will be airbnb and out as well just to kind of help my monthly income as well as sustain it. The way I look at it, if the places are going to be here, I might as well have them being paid for. I put down 20%, which is around $57,000. I wanted to do that to keep my payments low. I currently have someone moving in and there, and they're gonna pay me $900 a month. And the other side, I plan on Airbnb, but currently my mortgage with the duplex is $1,200 a month. I do help out friends and family. Sometimes people consider it too much, but I always follow up my grandfather's blueprint. Like he helped everybody. And I think that's the way I try to do it. I have one friend that is, that is incarcerated that I try to give money to. The reason I do that is because I know at the end of the day, that could be me. I know at the end of the day, a lot of times when you come from our communities, especially, you know, poor, being African-American in our communities, you don't have a lot of opportunities. So any way I can help, I'm always gonna be willing to help because I know on the flip side, if he could do it for me, he would do it for me as well. When it comes to giving back, it's essential. I could cut costs probably by not helping people as much, but that's not who I am. Even the shirt I have on now and saying, love will save the world. I believe in giving back. I don't believe in ever being selfish with money because money comes and goes, but the relationships that you make last forever. I don't ever want to be a person that, that acts like I'm better than anybody, tries to be better than anybody. My plan is always to help others around me that look like me, that come from similar backgrounds to me to help them get on a better path so we all can be successful together. When I'm not working, I'm a leisure person and the first thing I'm doing is booking a vacation. If I'm going to work hard, I try to play harder. When I was younger, I wrote down a list of places that I always wanted to travel to. So I try to knock out every, every place on that list. Traveling is essential to education. You learn more. When you travel more places, it, it, it exposes you to different experiences. But I do want to create more real estate opportunities for myself that I, I can work less and less. I plan on maybe being married, starting a family. But essentially, I don't know if I would, if I would ever fall in love with being in the same place, same time, all the time. I love nursing, so I will continue to do nursing, but I do want to come up with other streams of income. Mm -hmm.